close your eyes and try to stay with the breath. Don't let yourself be moved off too easily. All too often our minds like birds. We fly around, and then we settle down, and then the slightest noise, we're off again. The slightest little impulse, we're off again. So we want to be able to resist that. There are noises, but they're not going to do anything to you. There may be little pains here and there in the body, they're not going to do anything to you right now. All you have to do is hold on to the breath. Try to be a human being in the sense that you're going to be solid about what you want to do and stick with it. This is what makes us human. You also have aims. And we can stick to those aims, regardless of distractions. And so try to develop that quality as much as you can. We're here for our own, our own good. To develop a happiness that's long-lasting, something that's really worthwhile, something that will see us through the long term. So make sure the little, little things don't lead you astray. Otherwise you fly around and around and around, and if you have no place to land, as John Lee says, it's like a plane with no place to land. What happens? You end up crashing. But the breath here is your place to land, and it's safe. It puts the mind in a good mood. And it puts it in a position where it can see things clearly. So hang on here. We hear so much about the teachings are letting go, letting go. We forget that there are a lot of places where the Buddha says, hang on. Stick with it. Dwell here, he says. You enter and dwell in right concentration. You don't just come in one door and go out the other. You come here to stay.